Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Got another great video for you guys today. As usual, you guys know the deal on this channel, man. We must continue to what? We must continue to talk about the facts on this channel. We must continue to set the record straight. And we must continue to educate. Right? That's what it's about in this channel, guys. You know it's about the education. And in this video, we're going to do a brief educational lesson on George Mikan. In this video, we're just going to do a brief video on George Mikan and how my, it was George Mikan who indeed led the first dynasty in the NBA's history. That's right, guys. I put that poll out a couple of days ago. Who led the first dynasty? George Mikan or Bill Russell? And I was surprised that most people picked Bill Russell. I believe it was like 52% or 48 last time I checked with maybe four or 500 People who, you know, uh, voted in the poll. But I would have thought that more people would have realized it was George Mikan. So we're going to talk about it in this video real quick. Because it was George Mikan, guys, not Bill Russell. And I want to thank you guys, man. Everyone across the world, everyone across the states, guys. I am truly, truly humbled, guys, by all the support, man. For real. It, it means a lot, guys, for real. Like I said, man, just truly, truly humbled by all the support, man. For real. Everyone subscribing, liking my videos, commenting. Everyone out there, man, for real. Thank you, guys. Shout out to everybody in the membership, man. We got a new member in the membership, man. Shout out to my man, Choma Star. I hope I'm saying it. I hope I'm saying it, your, your name right, man. Shout out to Choma Star, man, for joining the, the membership, the newest member. And once again, like I said, I'm truly humble, guys. Much respect to all you guys in the membership. Thank you for the continued support. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, like I said, once again, man, you know, on this channel, man, I try to give you guys the facts, man. And remember, these videos are for educational purposes. That's what it's always been about. That's why we must stand up, set the record straight, stop the lies, and stop the narratives, right? We must continue to put the facts out there, right? And we must continue to educate. And once again, like I said, guys, in this video, we're going to talk about George Mikan briefly and how it was indeed George Mikan, not Bill Russell, who led the first dynasty in the NBA's history, guys. So, if, as you guys know, the uh, the BAA, you know, was what it was known as originally, right? The NBA was originally known as the BAA. And the first season on record is the 1946-47 season, guys. However, in 1948, uh, George Mikan would enter the BAA, the, the then BAA. And what's interesting, guys, about, you know, the beginning of the NBA slash BAA is that there were no MVP awards. There were no, I don't even believe they counted rebounds that early in the BAA in the history of the NBA. We'll just call it the NBA, guys, for the sake of the video. They did not count rebounds, I believe, those first several seasons. Um, I don't believe they started counting rebounds till about 1950, I want to say, 50, 51, maybe, somewhere around there. Maybe even later, maybe even 52. But George Mikan came in during the 48-49 season, guys. And George Mikan essentially played six seasons and won five titles in those six seasons. He essentially won a title almost every single year he played. And they were, in fact, the Minneapolis Lakers, guys, who really people don't mention. You know, that's why I put that poll out about Bill Russell or George Mikan. Because a lot of people really believe that it was Bill Russell's Celtics of the 60s that were the first, quote-unquote, dynasty of the NBA. When, in fact, it was George Mikan, Mr. Basketball, right? That's his name, Mr. Basketball, who, in fact, led the first dynasty in the NBA's history. Five titles in six seasons, a three-peat, right? I believe they won in 52, 53, and 54. 1952, 1953, and 1954. They won 3,000 in a row. They won 1949, 1950. I believe in 1951, the, the, Ro the Rochester Royals beat the New York Knicks for the NBA championship or, you know, the BAA championship. So once again, like I said, I, I believe George Mikan is credited with playing seven NBA seasons, but I believe he came back after retirement when I believe he was like 32 years old and only played about 20 games in that last season of the 19, I believe it was the 1955, 56 season. I believe he came back after retiring after the 1954 season. So he won three years in a row, George Mikan, right? They won the top three years in a row and then he retired. Then he came back for one season after that one-year retirement. Like I said, only played about 20 games. So like I said, essentially, he won five titles, right, in six seasons, George Mike, like I said, but people don't know. 
So remember, guys, George Michael, who averaged, I believe, 24 points, 13 rebounds for his career. Same thing in the postseason. Identical numbers. Had him touch George Mikan. The man, I believe, shot 79% from the free throw line for his career. George Mikan, a 6'10 giant. Right? The, the first giant of the NBA's history, right? The first giant of the NBA. It was George Mikan, guys. So once again, shout out to George Mikan. A lot of people don't realize George Mikan was the leader of the NBA's first dynasty, guys. It was not Bill Russell. Uh, I believe the first All-Star game, guys, in the history of the NBA was 1951. And George Mikan was in that All-Star game. I believe Bob Cousy was in that All-Star game. Paul Arizin, uh, Dolph Shays, uh, Vern Mickelson. These are some of the names that was in the very first All-Star game. So as you can see, when we talk about stats and accolades sometimes, right, sometimes it doesn't do justice for some of the older players. That's why I tell you guys, it's not just about the numbers and the accolades. It's about the story, right? How you accomplished these things, right? How you went about your career, things of that nature, your overall game, the impact, your leadership, the intangibles, right? Your sportsmanship, all those kinds of things, your heart, your grit, all of that stuff matters when we're debating the greatest players of all time. I told you the all-time greats. When we talk about that standard, George Mikan's one of the all-time greats, guys. I don't know if you would put him a top 10 or a top 20 player, probably somewhere in that range. He definitely deserves to be somewhere in there. Once again, these guys back in them days, they only played seven, eight, nine years, if that. Back in those days, the 40s into the 50s. It wasn't really until like the, the late 50s into the 60s where those players start to play maybe 9, 10, 11 seasons, maybe 12 years. But most of the players in those, those early days of the BAA slash NBA, these guys only played six, seven, eight seasons. So when you look at George Mikan, he really only played six seasons, but he won five championships in those six seasons, and he was dominant. Like I said, there were no MVP awards when George Mikan was in the league, so you can't look at a George Mikan, that's what I'm talking about, for the accolades, and say, oh, George Mikan doesn't have any MVPs, he wasn't that great. There were no MVP awards. Like I told you, the first All-Star game did not come about until I believe his, what, third season or second season? Uh, I believe it was his third season was, a, was when the first All-Star came was even about. So once again, like I told you, they didn't even count rebounds when he first started in the league. I believe they counted points and assists from the beginning. That was it. And George Mikan's one of the giants, man, one of the greats. So when you hear people talk about Bill Russell's Celtics, absolutely, they won the most championships. But don't, don't forget that it was George Mikan's Minneapolis Lakers that were the first real dynasty of the NBA's history, guys. From 1949 to 1954, they won five championships in six seasons, right? Back-to-backs, and then a three-peat, 52, 53, and 1954. So shout-out to George Mikan. Like I said, Mr. Basketball, the first giant big man superstar in the NBA. And I believe when he retired, I told you, he retired, then he retired in 54, then he was out for the 54-55 season. Then he came back for the 55-56 season. And that year, it was his last year, the next season, Bill Russell would come into the NBA, guys. And Bill Russell would be the first black superstar in the NBA's history, guys. Right? But in between the George Mikan and the Bill Russell, right? Like I said, be before, you know, Bill Russell would really come in and take over and, you know, and become like the star, after uh, George Mikan retired, like I said, in 54, you would have guys like a Bob Pettit come in and really take over. And Bob Pettit is the first MVP winner in the NBA's history, guys. So once again, like I said, guys, shout out to George Mikan, who led the first dynasty of the NBA's history. Remember, guys, it's not Bill Russell. It was George Mikan. We must continue to educate and we must continue to remember and put some respect on these past players. Remember, it's not just about the stats and the accolades for someone like a George Mikan or some of these older players. They didn't have access to some of these accolades and some things of this nature. All-star games. They weren't even counting rebounds like I told you guys. So you guys know the deal, man. Remember, anyone who voted for Bill Russell on that poll, it's George Mikan, guys. It's George Mikan. 1949 to 1954, guys. The man won five titles in six seasons, right? The, led the team to four, five titles in six years. The first three-peat in the history of the NBA, guys, George Mikan. You guys know the deal, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.